just said virgin human hair. This, of course, is the inside of the box. This is the lid. It says, don't quit, don't stop, don't give up. Keep it moving. So the hair comes in this bag. It's a transparent lace wig. Now, it's disinfected when they send it to you. But personally, I didn't really care for the smell, so I did wash it. When you wash the wigs, it does change the style of the wig and the pattern. So you have to be very careful of how you wash the wig. You can't just really plunge it into a big gallon of water uh, because it will change the style of the wig that you purchase. Now if you just want to wash, say the head part, uh, the lace, then I would wash it uh, gently so you can keep the same style of the hair that you purchased. And it comes with some goodies. You get some gifts. I like the wig cap that came with it. I thought that was pretty neat. And then you have the little headband. So when you want to seal the cap, the lace wig. And then they also give you some beautiful eyelashes. They're 3D eyelashes. And also in this pouch, it comes with a makeup brush. That's pretty neat. All of this comes in your little pouch, your box, and your wig. So this, I think, is pretty nice. I, I like I like the wig. I did wash it. It did change the pattern. I'll show you the wig shortly. Let me put all my little gifts and goodies back into the pouch. Thank you. I think I may take the little headband strap. I may take that off. And this is the lace. These are the pre-cut baby hairs. I like the texture of the hair. Now, as you see, I have not bleached the knots or did anything like this. This is just literally out of the box. And the only thing that I did is that I washed it. It smells really good after I washed it. And um, I haven't even cut the lace. But I just wanted to show you uh, the wig packaging and everything that came in the, in the box and this is what the hair looks like so you can see the quality of the hair I like the wig I have yet to actually style it and wear it put it on my head but like I said I just wanted to show you what it is that I ordered now I'm normally not a wig wearer so this is going to be all brand new to me and you're going to be looking at it just like I'm looking at it and assessing it and any feedback I welcome and the reason that I decided to start wearing wigs is because I wanted to start doing commercials and different events and so forth and I've always had difficulties with styling my own hair it was just kind of like this wig wild and everywhere but I wanted to keep my own hair and I didn't have I didn't want to wear protective styles all the time I wanted to wear different styles and and you know change it up a little bit so I thought a wig was a safe way to do this and that's why I purchased uh, this particular wig because you can also put it up into a ponytail uh, there's various ways to uh, wear this wig I'll also put up some pictures of the wig and, and others uh, who have worn this wig and what they did with it and then I'll show you shortly what I've done with the wig and it's really nice because it's a thick set of hair it's, it's a really nice 
set of hair. So I don't have any oil or anything on the hair at the moment. So it, it just le looks like just regular natural blown out hair that needs to be styled. And it has the combs. I just want to first get used to wearing them because like I said before, I've never worn a 
first time wearing a wig. So even when I used to dance and so forth, and they put clips in your hair and so forth, someone else would do that for me to, to help me get it all together for our event. So for me to have to deal with trying to fix this hair and make it look like something, uh, this is going to be a challenge. Now there's one that I purchased that I took a picture in. It's like a little TikTok face and it's a curly one. That particular wig holds its true form. It holds its style. It holds its curl. But a lot of people don't like those little tight curls like that. You can blow dry it out to make the curls a little bit softer and looser. Personally, I liked it just like it was out of the bag, but it would be something that I would wear to work on a special occasion, something where I really needed to fix up and dress up. But for something daily, so I don't always have a baseball cap on and uh, like the scarf thing, or, you know, the LA look that we, <laughs> that we wear when we just having our daily go out and run errands type of look. I like this better for my go out and run errands. Uh, it's just a cuter, softer look than the way that I was looking before. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know uh, once I take some pictures what it all looks like with makeup and everything on. But this is the hair. It has been washed and pretty much it looks the same as it did when I took it out of the box before I washed it. So this is it. It's the Kinky Straight. So thank you for FedExing my package. I appreciate it and thank you for the gifts. So I just took the package out of the shipping envelope. So let's open it up. Take a look. Alright, now this one doesn't have a message in the lid, top of the lid. These are the gifts, the goodies that you get in your box. Let's see what I have. Here's the wig. It's pretty neat. I like that color with the fuchsia pink. That's pretty. So they have similar gifts as some of the other wigs that I've ordered. So it looks like you get the eyelashes and the makeup brush. It shows that it's a transparent face wig. It even comes with a tape so that way you don't have to spray the cap. It has a tape for the part. Where you're going to have your part so it's going to match your skin color. I have to say it's a little bit dark. I, mean, I don't know about everyone else, but usually my scalp is a lot lighter than my face. But I'm sure I can work with that and make it look, you know, pretty. Uh, Neutral, I guess. Natural. Neutral and natural. And then, of course, it has a little pouch so you can store your items in it. So I'm going to put the items away before I actually open the wig. the eyelashes and the headband so you can seal your lace layer. I like the color of this one, the fuchsia pink. And now we're going to open the wig. Oh, I forgot about my other little gift. I think this one is a necklace. Let's see what the necklace looks like. Oh, pretty. This is a cute. I like this one. It's pretty. It doesn't say if it's gold or not. And then the 
this is the other one to get two necklaces. I guess if you just want some jewelry to wear, it would be something cute. Now, I don't know if it's okay to wear my medulla earrings with this necklace. But I could see this going together because they're both the same color, you know, the same type of gold color. So I think it would be really pretty together, but I don't know if that's something that's considered acceptable, but I would certainly put it all together and make a little outfit out of it. And I like the little box that it came in. That was really cute. It was a cute gift. I, I really, everything that they put in this box, I, I really think is cute. They say presentation is everything, so certainly this is a very, very nice gift. And the eyelashes. Now, I don't know if you can cut the eyelashes so they're not as uh, thick. I don't think that's real gold. Maybe the clip is, but it doesn't really say. It doesn't say if it's 14 karat or not, but it's pretty. I'm gonna wear that. That's really cute. And usually I have to wear gold, but I think if I just wore it for an hour or two and not leave it on all day, it should be fine. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. So they do disinfect the hair, and it says it on the package. So I guess that's part of the smell that you smell when you first get the wig, is the um, disinfectant product that they use. And so this one is a little bit straighter than the Kinky Straight. They have similar highlights. Okay, now this texture is a little bit straighter than the Kinky Straight. And this is the lace. So this is literally right out of the box. I haven't lost it or anything. And of course it's straight, so the curl pattern will probably pretty much stay the same after I wash it. But you're looking at it right out of the box. And all the goodies that came with it. And there's the strap to hold it, keep it secure on the head. I don't know if I'm going to wear the strap. i got to try it on and see how well it fits. I did give my measurements on my profile when I ordered the wig, but I don't know if they use that when they make the wig. sun so my skin tone changes that's why I keep um, different types of powder face powder and translucent powder so when I wear my makeup and so forth it should blend pretty well and then I can use the highlighter um, during the winter months but here in California is usually sunny So I like the wig. Just fresh out of the box, I have to say that I like the kinky straight better. Just looking at it fresh out of the box as to what I can just throw on and wear um, that would look like my hair. But this one here is really straight and it's supposed to be pre-cut. It's supposed to be pre-cut baby hairs and already pre-plucked and everything. And then the baby hairs. I shouldn't call them baby hairs. I don't know what you call those hairs, but what would be around the crown? They're already cut. So I will wash.
wash it first and then I'll try it on and we'll both see how it looks but overall I'm, I'm happy like I said I haven't returned any of my wigs that I received from any of the companies um, and once I get it all together and put the makeup on I'll show you the companies that I ordered them from Including the one that I was telling you that I like for when I go to like an audition or something or some type of um, professional setting. I really like this one company's wig because when I washed it, the way the curls stayed true, it, it didn't change. It did, the wave pattern didn't change. It stayed just like the wig looked before I washed it. And I wash the wigs very well, sometimes two to three times just to get that smell out of it. So for it to hold that same pattern and look the same way after it was washed and dried, um, I, I'm pretty impressed. So I'll also give you the name of that company. However, I tried to look for that one because I wanted a longer length and I didn't see that same wig. So I don't know if that one's outdated that they're no longer selling or what or if you could still contact them and see if they can make something similar. It's a way that I can change my hairstyles without having to damage my hair. So that was the main reason in the first place for starting to do this. Because I've never worn a wig before. And I think that this will be a lot easier for me to be a Instead of having trying to blow dry my hair, curl it, style it. And it's just too much. To, it just takes too much time when I can simply just put on a wig, then put my makeup on, and continue on with my day without having to spend hours at a time styling my hair. So that's the conclusion that I've come to. However, it doesn't take away the quality of the wigs that I've chosen and the styles, and if it's, if it's really what I'm looking for. So I can't say that this is the last time that I've purchased a wig. I may see another style that I would like a little bit better. Now one style, uh, one brand actually that I purchased from, they are not uh, displayed here. And I'll have to insert the name of that company at some point, maybe in the introduction or something. Somewhere I'll put the other company just to make a note. And that's, like I said, the way that I took on TikTok with the little funny face. Because it held its curl pattern, pattern. I am so impressed with that wig. Because when I tell you I washed it, I washed all these wigs. But that particular wig held true to its form. It looked the same way it did the day that I got it, the first day that I received it. So I was just so impressed with that wig that even if I never wear it again, it just sits in the closet. It earned its status. That wig earned a place to sit somewhere. sure that whether it's hot, cold, rain, or whatever, it's still going to have that same pattern, that same look. The reason that I purchased it is going to look like that same wig the day that I actually received it. And that was why I ordered it, because I wanted something that was simple, something that did not take a lot of effort to maintain. If, if I need to do all that cutting and Styling, you know, I might as well do my own hair or at least go to professionals. So I wanted something that looked like something that looked professional, that looked cute, and that I could wear it for ever my additions or for just daily in and out running errands. Or if I want a night on the town, I wanted something that I could wear and feel comfortable in. So, wigs are a pretty norm now. They're, they're pretty normal at this point when you see people with wigs. And you know, growing up, that just was not the norm. But most people, at least that I knew, just weren't wearing around people with wigs just to 
go to the grocery store, to school, or what have you. Uh, we would have to have been something in commercial um, entertainment buildings. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to see the different styles that I can come up with with these wigs. And I just want to go ahead and take a picture of all this just so I keep it up to myself. And then as I go along with the style of the wigs that I wear, I'll certainly take a picture and share with you so you can see what all that I have purchased. Now, as far as just off the top, like I said, that one wig, I do really enjoy that particular wig and I look forward to wearing that one. The only, if there was something negative, it would just be the fact that I did not get it long enough. I wish that I at least got it 18 to 20 inches. It was more of a bob, and that's what I was looking for before. It was a cute little bob that I could throw on and look a particular way um, when I needed to. And I didn't have to spend a lot of time to get that look, so that's why I had purchased that particular way during that time frame. However, after I got it, like I said, after I've washed it and messed around with it, I just wish that I had got it a little bit longer, but then it would no longer be a bob. So I've considered possibly contacting that company to see if I could purchase another one, uh, just a little bit longer in length. Beautiful in forever, pre plug body wave hair. I love this wave, very similar to the Kinky Straight. This one is a human hair lace front wig, 20 inches, and in my goodies I received two types of tape. The silicone tape, I really enjoy the fact that the colors match my skin complexion. Very appreciative. And they gave me two beautiful gold necklaces. Just beautiful. So we're still looking at my mystery mystery box items. Okay, also in the mystery box we get some goodies. So if you collect four of the BU magnets then you can get a Disney park you can get it in Disney park for free but you gotta get four of them I don't think I'll be ordering a mystery box again lesson learned thank you though appreciate all the beautiful gifts since I'm fairly new to a lot of this I understand that I can dye it so it's it looks like it's like a half of a wig where you would leave the front part of your hair out or something. Not sure. But I may even gift it to someone who can dye it and use it and work with it. So, uh, uh, no words, no words. So you get the cute little hair bonnet. And 
And then you get the, what do I call this thing? Head wrap. See. Hold down the wig after you glue it. is a makeup brush. Yeah, that's pretty. I like the makeup brush. The makeup brush is pretty. That's pretty neat. And then I got some more of those big old eyelashes. And then a little pouch that comes with it. Put all your little goodies in. To show you what this wig looks like. Alright, so while I was putting this together to show you the color of the wig, I noticed I had 222 on the time, so I guess, you know, I was starting to question myself <laughs> after I ordered this, and this is what I received, and then I looked at the clock and it said 222, so here we are. But this is the color, I hope that you're able to see the color. And I'm debating if I will keep it and try to dye it another color or uh, do a giveaway. And I don't really have that many followers, so I'm not sure how this giveaway is going to work. But I'm definitely going to, I'll probably give it to someone in a giveaway. I think that's probably the best deal because I'm not too familiar with wigs. I guess I could mess around with it and learn something new. But I'm going to put this up and you let me know what you think about it. Thank you, Nadula, for my mystery box gifts. Thank you. Alright, this wig was in the mystery box.